Looks like Koromoro is really happy to see you. You guys have been gone for a while. You guys must have had a lot of fun on the trip. You've all been talking about it non-stop when we hang out in the lounge. Koromaru and I were the only ones left behind at the dorm, so it was really quiet during that time. I can't remember the last time I spent so many nights without hearing a peep. I stayed up late watching TV with Koromaru in the lounge. Then I'd doze off for a while, but it was actually so quiet. I couldn't sleep right. Hmm? What's the matter? I think there's something he wants to give you, senpai. <laughs> I feel like I've been able to tell what Koromaru's thinking lately. It's probably because we spent so much time alone together these past few days. Seriously?
Time look. Are my requests wonderful? Very well, then. Come to think of it. means very well
Good day. Here are my requests. Wonderful. Is that so? If I may say so. By all means. Very well. Good day. Are you accepting a request? Very well.
really that many cookbooks, were there? I'm sorry. I didn't realize that store mainly sold manga. I should have looked the place up beforehand. you before I mentioned that I don't really like going to bookstores well about that I had a bit of a bad experience in a bookstore once I think it was at the start of last April someone took a picture of me he accused me of stealing I'm not very tall, right? So when I was reaching for a high shelf, I accidentally knocked some books down. Well, a few of them landed in my bag. I went to take them out and put them back on the shelf. But some girl from my class took a picture of me with her cell phone. She even threatened to show my parents. Thank you, but... Don't you think I'm stupid for letting this get to me? If I'd just spoken up, I could have settled it right there. I know that, but I... I still couldn't say anything back. All these negative thoughts kept running through my head. I thought no matter what I said, it wouldn't do any good in the end. But now, I want to believe that I can change. Whenever I'm with you, I feel like I don't get swept up in those negative thoughts. I know I'm being selfish, but... Uh, I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm making it sound like I'm just using you, aren't I? Th th that's not what I meant, really. What I'm trying to say is... I've really come to depend on you, and... I'm really happy that you're there for me. That's all. going to be able to repay you. I should have just discussed my cooking concerns with everyone at the dorm, but somehow I find myself always going to you for help. I want to hear your opinion, but more than that, I feel at ease when you're with me. I wonder why. I'm sure it's because you're a leader. That's why I depend on you so much. in order. Could we talk about this again later? <sighs> Thank you. I'm going to head back now.
ですよ It's been a while. That voice. I'm glad to see you once again. Jin, the instruments, if you would. Here. Don't tell me you can't even recognize your own evoker. Now there's nothing in the world keeping you here, yes? Takaya. Surely you understand. There is nowhere for you to go. Your only choice is to come with us. You know all too well that death is not to be feared. You need only fear. I know, Takaya. Excellent. All his fault. Ever since he started getting too close, I've suffered every single day. And now, I'm afraid to die. Hey, Jidori, hurry it up. Mandia, let's go. Not bad, kid. Thanks, kid. Bye bye.
know. Side of my mouth still tastes all. Uh, I mean, coffee's meant to be taken black, don't you think? It's the only way to experience the natural taste of the beans. The one from Brazil is very smooth, while the Kilimanjaro one is more sour and full bodied. I thought so too, but I heard the properly brewed ones are completely different. That's why I try to learn how to make it, but honestly, they taste the same to me. Anyways, sorry for the sudden invite, but they say that drinking coffee can help you relax and concentrate better. I just thought something like that might benefit us in our upcoming battles. And I figured if I could learn to make good coffee, people might find that useful. I'll do some more research. I can tell there's room for improvement. Sorry for asking you to help me clean up too. Please, take the leftovers with you. Although, you might not necessarily like it. Sure, I'd prefer my coffee to taste good, but I could do without all the test sips. Uh, it's not that I don't appreciate the flavor, it's just that it's not good for an elementary school kid to drink too much, so... And you seem like someone who'd appreciate a good cup of coffee, like from a cafe. I hope you have another cup the next time I make some. I'll make sure it tastes better by then. <laughs> well then, good night. Sorry to wake you. Um, I I'm not sure how to say this. But you need to go to the fourth floor. And please hurry! What's going on? Yamagishi detected a presence. Other Persona users. They're outside Tartarus. Other Persona users? You don't mean... Strega. They're still alive. Those bastards! First the Dark Hour doesn't go away and now Strega's back? What the heck's going on? Yamagishi. Can you see who it is? There's only one of them, but... I thought she was in the hospital. Huh? No, she's... She's inside! Ah! What's wrong? Long time no see. Chidori! She hijacked the transmission? I can't stand the sight of you all anymore. So I've decided to get rid of you. Come to me. <clears throat> Yamagishi! I'm... okay. I don't get it. Wasn't she in the hospital? Junpei, do you have any idea what's going on? Junpei? Shut up! I don't know shit! God damn it! What? Junpei, come back! This is almost certainly a trap. But it's Strega we're dealing with. We can't just ignore them. And if we confront them, we might gain some insight on the current situation. Please be careful. 
I only sensed one person, but the other two could be nearby. True. Leader, we have no idea what they're planning. So choose your team wisely. We'll go after Iori once you're ready. smart and I've done a lot of stupid things but this this is wrong we shouldn't be fighting each other Junpei-kun look out Whoa! hey that was close you could have killed someone there Yori why get back Junpei Talking won't solve anything now. It's too dangerous! I know how you feel, Jinbei-kun! But please, just back up! Medea. This isn't where I belong. I've known that from the start. Jinori! What the hell's gotten into you?! Right. You're all just a nuisance. Get ready. I'm feeling inside. This is nothing. I don't feel good. Here we go. 
you don't touch me Chidori please tell me why you're doing this what I fear most isn't death what I fear most is attachment when I do I become horrified by the thought of loss my possessions my life everything that's why we only ever live for the moment but you Junpei you brought me pain I never wanted. What? When I'm with you, Junpei, I fear everything. I fear loss. I fear death. I fear my time with you will end. That's why I... Chidori. That sense. What is it? It's the others from Straka. How did they? Bastards! You just don't know when to give up! <sighs> I refrained from interfering as requested, and look what became of it. Chidori, I see that it is too late. You've been poisoned by them. What the hell does that mean? You freaking ghost! I am no ghost. Fate simply permitted me to live despite my detachment to life. You might say I was chosen. Bastard! That's it! I'm not letting you do this to her anymore! I'll protect Chidori with my life! Junpei. Chidori, come with me! Don't stay with these guys! Junpei, look out! What? Junpei... No! Huh? I'm so glad you're awake. Chidori? Uh-huh. I thought I was. 
I guess I was wrong. My fear, my heartache, I blamed it all on you, Junpei. I'd never felt that way before I met you. And for the first time in my life, I, I realized what I wanted. And... what's that? I... want to be with you, Junpei. Forever. I... um... Uh, I... I want to be with you, too. But it could never last. And it breaks my heart. We are different from you. Since the moment I gained my power, I've known the day I was going to die. Huh? The very thought of it horrified me. Up until then, I'd never once thought about death. But I realize now, dying means I won't see you anymore. Chidori. That's why this is for the best. You can't die here, Junpei. Me? Die? What? Don't believe it. She brought him back from the dead? But wait, if she goes as far as completely reviving someone, the cost for that would be... Shh! <laughs> Chidori! <sighs> so it worked. I can hear you. The sound of your beating heart. That's all I needed to know. Now I can go on living in you. I'll always be with you. Huh? Hey, Chidori! Stay with me! What the hell are you even talking about? Hey! This is how it has to be. your back. I'll do everything I can to protect you. So come on. <sighs> this might be all I ever needed. Just being in each other's arms. It's nice. Chidori! Pitiful. Such a meaningless end. Meaningless? Hmm.
Gear? Burn in hell! You won't get away with that! Jupiter! My, that was quite a spectacle. Now, allow me to respond in kind. Takaya, don't! Don't forget about your mission. You don't gotta waste any more time on him. I have a much greater purpose to fulfill. And since you have no means of destroying the Dark Hour, there's no point in dealing with you any longer. Enjoy squandering what little time you have left. Get back here! Junpei! Let me go! I'll... She entrusted you with this life. Don't just throw it away. Chidori. Chidori. I... I... so hard, but it's not just my life anymore. Junpei.
welcome. Yes. Which one? What would you like? What would you like? You gotta tell now. What would you like? What would you like? So, what will it be? So, what will it be? What would you like? What would you like? So, what will it be? What would you like? So, what will it be? Is that all you need? Hope to see you soon.
good morning. Everyone who's in the internship program, please follow me to the back entrance. We'll provide you all with uniforms. Once everybody's dressed, we'll get to work. Uniform. Forgot you chose this place too. Uh, yeah. So I guess we both picked the same place for the internship program. You're already a step ahead of me, though. I overslept like hell. Uh. Whoa! Damn it! Oh, I really screwed this one up. Coming in late on my first day, they're gonna be so pissed. I know a guy who works here. He said the manager's a real hard ass. Man, I really don't want to go in now. What do I do? You'll come apologize with me? Dude, you're the best, man. No, 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 wait. Even if you back me up, I can't just tell them I overslept. Wait a minute. I could just pretend I was here all along. Put on a uniform and stroll in like nothing happened. I'll just say my stomach wasn't feeling so good and I was in the bathroom this whole time. So, uh, please, do me a solid. Grab me one of those uniforms and bring it out here. I'll treat you to any food you want. You can look at my homework, so please. Dude, for real? Oh, I owe you my life, man. Just hop on in there and grab it real quick. If you hide it under your shirt, nobody will... Oh, there you are. Working hard. Seriously? Why do I get stuck having to supervise two classes worth of students? I'm suddenly the young and spry teacher when it's convenient. Sorry, I shouldn't be complaining to students. In any case, it looks like you two are doing just... Uh... Hey, Tomochika, why are you still dressed like that? Wait a minute, don't tell me. Well, uh, you see, I may have slightly overslept. Are you kidding me? How many times did I tell you all to be here not a minute late? Jeez, first someone skipping out and now this? Why does it always have to be my class? What? Somebody skipped out? Well, that's just terrible. Talk about a failure of a human being. So who was it? Don't you grin at me like you found a friend. More importantly, I sure hope you called to let them know you were going to be late. Uh, well, you see, I guess my schedule just didn't line up, so... Always call first when you're running late. It's common sense. Ugh, I'm definitely getting a talking to later. You're going to go apologize, right now. Wait, now? I, I need to gather my thoughts first and, um... And what exactly do you mean by that? You're not trying to find some way of getting out of this, are you? Uh... Are you even aware of all the trouble you could have caused? You left the team short-staffed. The manager's probably worried. If this were a real job, you'd be fired on the spot. Now, go in there and apologize. Be ready to accept whatever punishment you get. Yes, ma'am. Oh, yeah. I'm already pretty late as it is, and it is all my fault. If it makes you this upset, you shouldn't have been late in the first place. Remember, when you apologize, try to explain how you'll improve for next time. It reflects on you better. And no excuses. Make sure you really mean it. You got that? Makes sense. Well, here I go. See you later. <sighs> I 
guess I should go put in an apology from my side as well. Oh, by the way, have you heard anything from Iori? I see. Ugh. The very least he could do is call out or something. Oh well, you should get back to work. Anyway, I'll be going now. Put on a big smile and show them how much you love working service jobs. you've been working here for years. Hi, I'd like to place an order. <laughs> Looks like you've got the routine down. Maybe they'll hire you full time. <sighs> Looks like you're doing all right. The limited time combo with chili garlic fries and a coffee. Oh, and uh, one smile, please. Jokes aside, there's actually something I wanted to talk to you about. Hey, manager says to take your break. Wait, what? Mochizuki's here? I see you chose this place too. Well, my internship ended a little early, so. So what? You came here to rub it in my face? You better not start picking up chicks in here. You are literally a chick magnet, you know that? Our sworn enemy. Oh, now that you're here, I'd actually like to get your opinion too, Tomochika-kun. About what? Lay it on me, you got time. They said I should take my break now too. Come on, this is our chance to chill. I don't even think about wiping tables. <laughs> you two get along pretty well, huh? I guess I'll go order something. You guys go ahead and find a seat. Hold on, the manager hooked me up with some nuggets. Let me go grab them. Not such a bad person once you get to know each other. Just kind of intimidating at first. I think this should be enough for the three of us. Nice, you know your junk food. Now this is what being a high schooler is all about. So, you wanted to talk about something? <sighs> well, it's about Junpei-kun. Yori? Aren't you guys doing the same internship? Yeah, we were supposed to, but he didn't show up. Until today, that is. I finally saw him, so we talked for a bit. Something happened to him? Well, at first glance, he looks like he's goofing off as always, but it feels like he's forcing himself. I can see a hint of sadness when I look into his eyes. You know, Mochizuki, you're really starting to get on my nerves. Huh? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Why? You're that good looking, but you still watch out for your bros? You're too perfect. What are we even supposed to do about this guy? Anyway, I don't know what's up, but I guess even Iori's not immune to getting bummed out sometimes. Guess that shouldn't be surprising. No one ever said being a teenager was easy. Let's give him some space, yeah? He's got this guy living in the same dorm. That's a recipe for recovery for sure. He helped me a lot too. I'd probably still be moping around if it wasn't for him. 
So don't worry. I'm sure Yori will bounce back in no time. Yeah. Well, nothing more to do but take him to karaoke sometime. I'll let him know you were worried about him. Thanks, Tomochika-kun. Oh, crap, the time. Yeah, I gotta get back to work. I didn't even get to eat any of this. It's up to you now, Mochizuki. <laughs> I don't think I can eat this much. Uh, guess I'll go ask for a to-go box at the register. He's probably right. I'm sure Junpei-kun will be back to his cheerful self again soon. Especially with you around. You're his best friend, right? <laughs> I know I'm the one who asked, but I feel a little awkward hearing that. I have to admit, I'm a little jealous. I never really had someone like that before. <laughs> before? But what about now? Oh, uh, sorry. Don't mind me. Seeing Junpei-kun like that had me worried about you as well. But I guess you're doing just fine. It's just... I don't like it. Seeing you... Seeing my friends in pain. Sorry, I didn't mean to drag this on so long. See you later. Good luck in the rest of your shift. Yes. 